well, okay, then where to start? Maybe, first of all, the series, the way I like Houdini series that I'm recording here, is aimed at people that don't know Houdini at all. So, um, especially this one, <laughs> you, you might think, why do a tutorial about it? And it's not really a tutorial. I'm actually even only scratching the surface of this. Um, but it's something that I really, really like about Houdini. It's the ability to create user interfaces and to do that in a really, really easy way. It's not complicated at all. And if you've used other software, I mean, <laughs> some software you can't do this at all, where I think it would be really useful. And um, in others, it's really, really cumbersome. So, um, yeah, um, let's uh, show what you need this for, maybe. Okay. Uh, what do I need? I need to turn off the title here. Okay, um, this is something that I'm currently working on and what it is, is it's a Venetian blind and basically it's all parameters. Everything can be controlled via parameters. You can close it, you can open it, you can tilt it, you can even change the width of it and whatsoever, but that's not important right now. What's important is, this is what it's about. It's about building interfaces like this. Um, so let's move this Houdini away and start from scratch. How to do this? Um, don't forget, this is what it's about. It's about this icon. Where do you find this icon? When I started learning Houdini, I was really like, how to do this? I want to make a user interface. And so let's make one. Um, Let's start with a geo object. Dive into it, delete the file node, and let's create a line object. Okay, that line object gets um, its own interface here automatically. I want my line to go sideways, so like this, and you can adjust the amount of points, you can adjust the length, and on that line, let's create a tube, um, put the focus to the tube, turn it to polygon, end cap it, and make it a lot, uh, a lot thinner. Maybe even thinner like this. Just two centimeters. So now, a copy to points node. Okay, I should have put this other way around straight away. Tube goes in here. Line goes in here. And you get all those lines. For some reason, I have to turn this on and off. Um, so now you got uh, however many points I set here. And you can adjust the length of the line. And obviously you can um, change the height of the so you might say, user of interface is already there. But you have to look for those parameters all the time and you get all the other parameters that you don't need. So what I do, a good practice is to create a null node. Basically, this node does nothing. Um, if so if you put data in up here, what comes out here is the same. But I put it here, UI uh, tutorial about the um, uh, edit parameter, yeah, tutorial parameter. Okay, so this is empty now, and this is where this icon comes up. You remember, 
looks like this. It's up here, hidden. Um, you press it and you go into Edit Parameter Interface. Um, and then, turned up on my second screen, this will pop up. This really, really huge interface. And in here, you can create an interface for this now. It's really hard to do this on this lit on, uh, on this screen. So maybe like this. So what do we need? We need something for the amount of tubes. So we use an integer, put it over here, give it a name, and number of tubes, and give it a label, just call it the same. And in here, you can set a range. I would never want uh, less than two and a maximum of 20. So apply that and it's already here. On, the, on this node, I've created this interface. This does nothing now. But let's create a few more parameters first. Let's also create a float and call it Length. Apply that too, and accept it. That's enough for now. So we have two, two parameters in our interface, and now we need to connect them to the right parameters in here. Uh, to that, for that, I split the pane tab here, so I get two of them, <laughs> and one of them. This one, I'm going to uh, pin, so it does not follow the selection of what I click on here. If you click on this one, it also comes in up here. But now, what did we want to do? We have number of tubes. That's the line and the amount of points. How do we get this from here to here? We can just drag it over and... It comes up with this little interface and best thing to use relative channel references. This is out of scope for this um, little tutorial. Just do that and it creates automatically um, this little 8 script means channel. This is a channel and this is the pass to this node. So if I click on points again, you get actually the number two. So there you go. Now you want to we want to create uh, connect the length to this parameter. So go over, drag it, relative channel reference. So and there we go, created an interface. This is actually all I wanted to show in this video. It's just a teaser and. Basically, it's damn easy to create really, 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 really complex um, interfaces. Um, let's go back to the gear um, for a moment. Edit parameter interface. You can create a folder, put this into a folder. Put those two in here, press apply, and automatically you get those riders. There's a lot that you can do here like this. Like I said, this is only a teaser, and it's one of the reasons I really like Houdini, is how easy is it is to make interfaces. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.